And for the drop or the chorus, you're going to be using a very EDM or house style drum pattern. Even synth wave is a common synth wave as well, where you just have a four on the floor kick with a snare hitting on the two and the four. And so it sounds like this. Pretty straightforward. And then I'm using two different drum kits for this. One is Beatmaker Vice, which is more of a synth wave. Uh, 80s style drum kit and the other one is Nemesis also by Ujam which is a more cyberpunk drum kit and by the way you can get 20% off all of Ujam products by using my code OAA at checkout I'll have that linked in the description below I've also done reviews on both of these plugins on my channel which I'll have linked below as well so these are really cool I just have these uh, layered up so they're both playing at the exact same time playing the exact same thing with the uh, as far as the kick and the snares go and one thing I'm doing here with the Vice drum kit here is I am turning up the ambience a lot here, which is basically gated reverb here. So you see when I turn up that ambience, you get a big gated reverb snare, and this is very common in cyberpunks. So you want to have that big gated reverb on your snare. and. Vice makes this really easy. It's just a single knob. You turn it up, boom. It sounds really big and nice. Uh, if you want to learn how to actually like route this yourself and create this yourself in your DAW, if you don't have Vice, then I have a full tutorial on how to create a synthwave sounding snare, which I'll link in the description below. But I'm also layering this up with a Nemesis snare. And so we can see that this is a lot more like metallic and edgy sounding. And so I just got these layered up and the same thing with the kicks. I'm using a vice kick as well as a nemesis kick to get a really big, deep, edgy sounding kick. You can hear the, especially the nemesis kick here. You got some distortion there on the transient. So that's kind of what you want. Maybe some white noise or some kind of distortion on the transient of that kick drum to make it sound a little bit more distorted and glitchy. At eight bars here, I'm just bringing a hi-hat on the 16th notes here. Pretty straightforward. And then in my verses here, uh, I'm just have some uh, percussion going, some metallic sounding percussion. And then I have a snare buildup coming in here. If you look at the automation here, I'm automating both the pitch, the volume, and actually also the velocity. So I'm automating three things here that's increasing over time here to kind of add that tension and that build up uh, into the chorus there. Then I got the second verse here where I have more drums throughout. I got some other interesting effects going in here. So for this percussion, these like basically these hi-hats here, I have them going to a bus where I have finisher dynamo also by Ujam. And this creates some really interesting movement. So we can hear what this sounds like with and without it in. Just add some interesting sound and movement to make it more dark and glitchy sounding. And then I also have that going on uh, across the entire drum kit, which really comes into play um, at certain moments here, starting in the second drop here, really. So that's pretty cool. And then it really gets crazy at the end here. So just kind of making it sound more manic and, and wild and distorted here, which is kind of the theme of cyberpunk. And one last thing I'm doing with the drums here is I have some parallel aggressor on this to add some parallel compression and saturation. So we'll hear what these sound like without this and then with it in.
really brings the drums forward, makes them punchier and more aggressive sounding, which is what we want here with Cyberpunk. By the way, if you want me to do an in-depth tutorial on how to mix Cyberpunk, let me know because I can't cover it all in this video as it would be way too long. So just leave me a comment below if you'd like me to do a deep dive on mixing because confession, I actually haven't mixed this track yet. This is kind of just a raw. Of course, it does have a few things in here. It's got some effects, but I really haven't done like hardly any compression or EQ, which is really the foundation of mixing. So just let me know if you want to see that. So in summary, with the drums, you want them to be hard hitting, you want them to be aggressive, and you can do anything you want really in the buildups or the verses, um, but generally during the drop, you have that four and the floor kick with a snare hitting on the two and the four. And usually you want your drum kit to be something 80s sounding. Uh, if you don't have any 80s drum machine sounds, I actually have a free 80s drum sample pack that you can download in the description below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button like you're Marty McFly trying to get back to the future. And if you want more help creating synthwave music, be sure to click the video playing on the screen right now, as that is my full in-depth tutorial on creating a synthwave song from start to finish. With that, have an awesome day and keep creating.